it's Sab and today I'm going to be doing an updated get ready with me. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup look, what I do to make my face more even. I do self tan about twice a week, maybe once a week depending on what I have planned. I use this self tan, I will link it below. This is St. Morris. I love self tan. I've been using self tan for a couple of years now. My next step in my get ready with me is my toner. Now I use a random toner I bought from TJ Maxx. I don't know that much about skincare as I'm sure you can tell, but I basically just take a cotton round. So I'm just gonna use one of these and I put it, some toner onto it and then just wipe my face. So the next thing that I do in my morning routines um, is hyaluronic acid. Now I usually only use if I have a couple of pimples that are still trying to heal. I'll just take a little pinch and add it to ooh, my face. And I kind of let that dry off before I go in with my next step. So the next thing that I use is L'Oreal Sublime Glow. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but it is a daily moisturizer and it also helps even my skin tone. that I'll be adding is makeup. I use two different like facial foundations even though neither one of them are actual foundations. The first thing that I use is this Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I'll link it below as well. Um, I do do it in tan, medium, deep, so a darker color because I use this to help even my skin tone everywhere. As you can see, I have pale spots, pale spots, pale spots everywhere. Part of that's self tan and part of it's just my face. I have splotchy skin. So I will take a little bit of this on the back of my wrist and then I will come in with my beauty blender and basically just apply that to help even out my skin everywhere. Okay, the next thing that I use is this Maybelline New York Dream BB Fresh. I've used this for years. The next thing I'm using is this lipstick. It's cheap lipstick, got it from like in a pack at like Ross. And so I'm not going to link it, but basically you can use any lipstick. I used to use a more expensive one, but I was like, why am I wasting this lipstick? And I use it as blush, like a cream blush. And it doesn't, I don't think it breaks me out. So yeah, and I just put it here and here and then on my nose. And I just use my beauty blender and blend that in. Now I used to do it like across my nose and that was really cute, but that was kind of a trendy thing. So I stopped doing that, but it does look it's so cute. But that is blended. I will come in with the lipstick again and also a chapstick. I put the chapstick on first and then I'll come in with this. So my next step is eyeshadow and I don't do a full eyeshadow look. I generally just do in the corner of my eye and I'll show you. I am using James Charles palette. I don't know if they sell it anywhere anymore. I don't think I'm gonna be able to link it, but I know he's canceled, okay? But I bought this before he was canceled and it's expensive and I don't, this is literally the only eyeshadow I own. So I don't support him, okay? I don't, but I need eyeshadow, okay? So basically I'm gonna be using the like white one, the white glittery one. And I just go into the corner of my eye, like I said, and I'll blend it a little so it's not just like random glitter. And 
then I literally just use the same color like I said and use it as highlight on my nose. Now, the most important step out of all of these things, if I could only keep one thing out of all of these things, well, it'd be self tan, first of all, because that's really important. <laughs> I would rather have that. But makeup wise, the most important thing is mascara. I use this one, this L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Uh, this is the color black is black. This is what I'm using. I wanted to show you the like what it looks like actually with this top, but my top broke off, which I'm not even mad about because the product is still so good. Don't let that discourage you from buying it because I promise it is a little expensive, a little pricey. I usually buy it in a two pack because it is a little bit cheaper in a two pack. But you know, if you don't want to spend that much, get the one, try it out. I promise it is life changing. So like, do you see the difference there? Probably not. I'm sure you can't even tell. But this is obviously the one I have mascara on and this one isn't. And I just feel like it makes my eyes look so much bigger. And I think it looks so cute. So I love this. And if I don't have mascara on, I feel so ugly. Like, can you not see that? I don't know. So that is my complete makeup look. My hair is looking a little bit um, crazy today. So if that's all you cared about watching, then there you go. Here is the completed makeup look. I love these products. I have been using them. I've tried out a couple and these are my favorites, but if you want to see me get ready for the day, fully ready for the day, then stay tuned and I'll also show you guys how I do my hair. Okay guys, so I do have on this top now. This is a really cute top from Five Below. My leggings are actually drying right over there. I forgot I washed them this morning, so they are air drying. I don't dry my leggings in the, in the dryer. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I do my hair. Now I don't have a clear clip, it's in my car, so I'm just gonna use this brown one, but I might replace it later. So the first thing that I do when I'm fixing my hair is make sure that my part is good. The thing I do is kind of pull it into a ponytail style and only so I can pull out pieces. So I'll show you guys what I mean. This side always looks worse in my opinion. I just, I don't know. obviously not complete I'll show you guys the completed outfit in just a minute but I want to get started on the jewelry so for this outfit it is great it has gray tones in it I'm gonna be wearing a gray jacket with it and I also want to wear silver jewelry and I'll let you guys see my jewelry I have a lot of my necklaces hanging right over here I'll show you and then I have a little jewelry stand that I'll also show you and then I'll show you the jewelry I picked out also look at my nails I do my own nails if you guys want a video on that too let me know but you know you don't but let me know and I do my own nails I do a gel nail thing I have a video where I did it for the first time it's not the most educational video and not the most helpful but it was just fun for me to film so you can watch that if you want to I'll link it below too but basically my nails are really cute right now I love them um, one is this like coral color with pink on the ring finger and I combined them by doing like the inverted ones and then over here is this neon pink I've done this color before because I'm obsessed with pink that's my favorite color um, and I, it just looks so nice and but I wanted to do something a little different so we have two different colors on my nose right now but anyways I'm getting distracted I'll go ahead and show you my jewelry so this has two little wings on the sides and it has a lot of earring hook places on it. And then it has this bracelet section. Then I have this tray. This is where I put all of my daily earrings, the one that I use the most often. I have my silver ones and then I have my gold ones that I wear. But my necklaces are, are right over here on this bulletin board. I love necklaces if you can't tell. I even have more, but they're just not over here. Here is the complete look. 
So I don't know if I even videoed half of this because my camera is being very extra. I have on this Under Armour hoodie, some leggings that I got from Ross. They have these really cute pockets. I don't even know if you can see this. And I am wearing gray vans. I went with just some hoops that I got from I don't remember where, but they're just really cute. They have a little detail on them. And I have um, seven or oh, eight piercings. I'm close my nose piercing, but I have seven on my ears. I have three here, three here, and then I have my cartilage. That's my outfit for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it wasn't a complete waste of your time. Bye, guys.